I'm gonna call you out right now and I need for you to stop watching porn. Look, that's the uncomfortable thing that we all don't wanna talk about. If you're a guy, you're a gal, it doesn't matter how many of us late at night, during the day, whenever we're bored, all these different reasons for why we go to our room, we pull down our pants and we start doing the thing that's super awkward and uncomfortable for us all to talk about. Well, I'm gonna talk about it today. This video is on how to quit porn forever. Hey, if you're new to this channel, my name is Richard. I'm an entrepreneur as well as a high performance coach and I make videos specifically to help you increase your performance in the areas of your family, your faith, your fitness, and your finances. And today I wanna to talk about this topic that I actually covered a couple weeks back in this video right over here. And that is actually a pretty comprehensive video on how to quit porn. Now the reason why I'm talking about this today is last week I made a video called how to trick your brain into like doing those hard things called a dopamine detox. And you should check out that video right over there. After I made that video, I realized that one of the things that brings us the highest levels of dopamine is sex. And for most of us, the most convenient, easy way to get that same sexual pleasure is through pornography. Now, this is a really serious topic because what happens is when you increase your levels of dopamine so high through watching pornography, everything else in your life becomes boring. Doing well in school becomes boring. Chasing fitness becomes really boring. Having a successful business, even making money, furthering your impact to help more people, that all of a sudden becomes boring when you compare it to sex, which gives you such high levels of dopamine. Dopamine. And this is extremely toxic and unhealthy, which is why I'm making this video for you right now. So look, as uncomfortable as it might be, maybe you're cringing on the side saying, oh Richard, I can't believe you're making a video. I'm doing this for you because I need for you to stop watching it. Now the first step when it comes to getting rid of porn forever is to go ahead and eliminate. And what I mean by eliminate is you have to look at everything that's on your computer right now. Are you actually saving files? Do you have any kind of subscription? Are you purchasing pornography? If there's anything that you're currently subscribed to that is in any way Way hinting at sexual promiscuity or anything pornographic, you gotta get rid of it right now. The second thing I wanna give you is to identify your triggers. What I mean by triggers are when you look at your environment, what are the different things within your life that actually cause you to want to watch pornography? Think about it. If you go to the gym and you see a really attractive woman, does that all of a sudden cause you to start staring and thinking about all these sexual things and then when you come back home, that's when you wanna watch pornography. Perhaps you're looking at certain things on social media, on TikTok, on Instagram, on YouTube, and you're following a lot of influencer models. Look, I was there in university. When I went to school at UCLA, I followed all the pretty girls at my school at UCLA. But then I asked myself, is this actually adding value? When you stare at that coworker, when you're creeping up on that person on social media, who's in your class, who you see at the gym, whoever that influencer is, is that actually adding value to yourself? Because look, if you're not, then you should go ahead and unfollow that individual. You should take a look at my Instagram account. I follow, I think, a little over 20 people because I have a very permanent rule, which is that this individual I do not see as a mentor or they do not not significantly add value to my life in any particular way, then I will not consume their content. My friends, my family, I don't follow them on social media. I keep up with them in real life by actually calling them. When it comes to social media, I'm very selective with the information that I put in because your input becomes your output. And then the third step that follows very naturally is to go ahead and remove those triggers. Once you identify the fact that whenever you're alone at home and your roommate, your friends, they leave, your family members leave, then all of a sudden you become a lot more prone to pornography why don't you just go out to a public spot? I remember when I was living with a couple guys in university, I made a rule. Look, if I'm ever studying alone in a room, I'm always gonna keep the door open because if I keep the door open, there's no way in heck I'm gonna go ahead and start watching pornography because someone could walk in on me. Start removing certain triggers, positioning yourself in certain situations in which you're no longer gonna be capable of going and watching pornography and falling into that temptation, even if you had the chance to. Now, the fourth step I wanna give you is actually called a 911 response action. Think about the 911 emergency system that's in the United States. If someone is in a medical emergency, they go ahead and call 911. A couple minutes later, an ambulance and a fire department ends up showing up. I know this because I actually worked on an ambulance when I was in university. Put a little photo right there. But that's besides the point. What I want you to do here is if you ever have a situation in which all of a sudden you become extremely tempted and you know, oh my gosh, if I still stay in this room, if I still sit down here, I'm going to go ahead and give into pornography. I need you to set up a 911 response, which is essentially a system, a protocol of exactly what are the action steps that you will take when you fall into temptation. So for myself, if there's ever a time that I feel urged to give into pornography, so I know if I ever see a trigger, if ever something pops up on the internet and all of a sudden I feel that head rush, I feel the need to watch pornography, my 911 response is to put on the music, I listen to Heart of God by Hillsong Worship, amazing song by the way, and then I go outside and take a walk. When you have a system of protocol, you don't have to think anymore. You have the trigger, you have the 911 response, you take action, and that temptation is gone. Ain't that right? 
Absolutely. Now the fifth step I want to give you to quit porn forever is going to be to set up some system of accountability through your technology. Look, it's not possible to just rely on willpower. It is literally too easy. I can go on Google, I could type in four letters, P-O-R-N, and all of a sudden all of these images start popping up. It is so easy to go ahead and access this stuff. It's insane. I pull up my phone, I pull up any kind of device. In this hyper-sexualized world, we need to combat against that by using technology to our advantage. There's an app that I've been using for the past four years now that I truly believe in. This is not a paid sponsor. It's called Covenant Eyes. My church back home in university initially had me get into this and now I am full out on this because it is incredible. Covenant Eyes essentially blocks all pornographic sites so you can't look at it. And then once you install the app, if you uninstall the app, your accountability partners who also use the app will be notified. And what's so cool here is if you ever see anything that's a little sketchy, that shows a little bit too much skin on the internet, your accountability partners are actually notified. I have two other accountability partners. Both of them are highly entrepreneurial within my business network and both of them are two strong Christians. And if for whatever reason I end up see something a little sketchy, they get an email notification, they'll hit me up and say, hey man, I saw you saw something a little sketchy online. Are you okay? And they'll check in and see if I'm giving into pornography. This way, not only am I not able to search up these sites, right? I have now a physical roadblock that is preventing me, but then in addition to that, I don't have to fight this battle alone. Look, if you're struggling with this addiction, you were not meant to do it alone. You need a community of individuals, so you need to check out Covenant Eyes. I'll put it in the description as the second link down below. Now, when you use that link down below, they're actually going to know that it came from me, that Richard, I sent you there, and you're going to get your first 30 days free. I believe it's 15 bucks a month. Let me ask you, if you could quit porn forever for 15 bucks a month, would that be worth it to you? I pay a hundred, two hundred dollars a month if the product costs that much. Look, it's a no-brainer, so click that second link down below, and then you can go ahead and register for that incredible app. Now the seventh step to quitting porn forever is actually a little bit of a mindset issue. And I actually want to tell you a little story in the Bible. If you know the story of Samson, it's in the book of Judges. And Samson was a literal superhero living in real life. So you think about superheroes, Superman, Captain America, people of crazy strength. Well, Samson was actually blessed by God back in his day in which he had superhuman freakish strength in which he could literally take down thousands of people within armies. And God had specifically given Samson these powers is because he wanted Samson to use them to build his kingdom. And in the same way in our own lives, you've been given talents, you've been given certain traits, certain responsibilities within your life so that you can use them to impact more people, to love more people, to love God more, to build and glorify his name. And as a Christian myself, I understand this YouTube channel that's been given to me. I have to be responsible with this. It's a gift that's been given to me. My ability to speak, to project to you in front of this camera and computer screen. And I have to be responsible with these gifts. Now what happened with Samson is Samson actually he started to give into sexual temptation. He started going to prostitutes. He started marrying people that God said you're not allowed to marry. And long story short, at the end of his life, it was a very sad ending. He ended up getting arrested. His enemies ended up gouging out. That means using knives and pulling out his eyeballs. And he ended up dying a really sad death. And the whole point of the story is Samson had so much potential. He had been given so many different gifts. He was arguably the strongest man who ever walked on this earth. He completely ruined it. He squandered it because he gave into sexual temptation. It was such a big warning to me when I was going through the book of Judges and reading the story of Samson because I reminded when I'm tempted by pornography, and by the way, I'm tempted every single day the same way that you are. Man, if we're tempted and we give in, how much potential are we losing out on? How much less of an impact are we able to make? How many people out there are we not going to be able to serve and help because we give in to our selfish, fleshly desires? So understand, this fight against overcoming sexual pornography Pornography is not just something of computer screens. It's a spiritual warfare. It's something that we have to overcome that the enemy is trying to throw on us. And I'm here to encourage you today that you can make this, not by yourself, but by relying on all the things I talked about and most importantly, relying on him, the Lord upstairs. He's gonna give you the strength. You just gotta rely on him. Now look, Overcoming pornography is just one portion of helping you become high performance. If you can master this one little thing, you're gonna see how your life is gonna 10X. But I wanna help you 10X your life in all areas of your life, in your fitness, in your family, in your relationships, in your academics, and even in your professional career. So this coming Saturday, I'm gonna be hosting a live high performance masterclass. I'm gonna show you a couple different strategies of how to double your productivity and take off more than 10 hours off your current work week. It doesn't matter if you're a university student, you're a working professional, you're an entrepreneur, or you're a busy mom and dad, 
I have strategies that are gonna bless you. So go ahead if you're interested, click that first link down in the description and you're gonna be taken to the registration page in which you can type your name, your email, and I cannot wait to see you on this coming Saturday, all right? Remember, I believe in you, you can do this. How you do one thing is how you do everything, and I'll see you next time.